Hey, hey, guess what? Because what he just brought out is heavy, right? Hey. Give me first John 2 and 15. Now, in order to, we're going to give you some steps on how to come out of the world. Because forget about it. If I ask how many people love God, guess how many people going to raise their hand? A lot of people raise their hand. They might not want to do it publicly, but deep down inside, they say, yeah, I love God, right? But my thing is, why does the Bible say this? Watch this, read this. First John 2 and 15. First John 2 verse 15. Love not the world. So it said love not the world. So we got now we got to differentiate what is the world and what is of God. No. Now watch this, read. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So now that's a reality check. Now you got to be real with yourself. Because folks don't even know today they're serving a God, Bacchus. A God of reveling and drunkenness. Because guess what? That's what go on. Do it. Am I right or wrong? Even if you didn't even know that that was the God you was worshiping, right? But do those things happen on this day? Reveling in drunkenness, be it his all-time high. That's the God that these Greek folks gave us in slavery. This ain't got nothing to do with that. This is a, uh, my God was French for fat Tuesday, right? So guess what? That ain't, ain't got nothing to do with us and our people. We was in slavery when they gave us this. You understand what I'm saying? Just like a whole other things that they gave us. Like, say for instance, the 4th of July, 1776, our people weren't even free. But they gave us Independence Day, right? We were still picking cotton on the plantation. We wasn't free. See what I'm saying? Like, these days don't even, this, they're not a part of us or that they're not even of God. So now watch it. Let's show you they worship an unknown God. But first, got, before you get there, give me 1 Kings 18 and 21. Because people got to be real. At least you was real with yourself. You said, look, yeah, I, I, hey, I was going to do what I was going to do. But the people that will lie will be folks that claim a Christian. They be the main one, pastors out here, deacons out here, revving up of uh, worshiping a false God and having everybody else thinking it's okay to worship a false God. This is what our people must do. Watch this read. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? So that's what we're doing today. How long, people that's listening? How long you going to be between two opinions? Meaning what? How long you going to be saying that you love God and you want to worship God or you going to worship the devil? How long you going to have two opinions? Watch this, read. If the Lord be God, follow him. So if the Lord be God, you need to follow God. Read. But... If Baal, then follow him. But if you're going to follow Baal, which is going to another God today, follow him. Read. And the people answer him not a word. The people ain't going ain't to say nothing. Just like now. I can look around and ask now. Get what the people going to do. Answer not a word. There ain't nobody going to say nothing like they ain't hear nothing I just said. You understand what I'm saying? Now, give me Exodus 32 and 17. Showing you, you remember with Moses? Are you familiar with Moses? Right, he, right, exactly. So now, watch this. We're finna, go, we're finna do a brief history. Showing you it's the same thing going on back then, the same thing going on now. Watch this. Give me Exodus 32. Start at verse 2. Exodus chapter 32, verse 2. And Aaron said unto them, Break up the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives and your sons and of your daughters and bring them unto me. And all the people break off the golden earrings. So now I'm painting the picture, right? Aaron said, Look, Moses had left, right, to go deal with the Lord. So Moses left the children of Israel law in an error, right? Aaron, Aaron got impatient and said, look, break off your golden earrings. Bring me all the gold. We're going to make us a God. Watch this. We Because look, I ain't no telling what happened to Moses. He been up there forever. He ain't came back down here. Their first mile is to go back to worship other gods. Even after they just seen the Lord part the Red Sea for them. You know, just, you know it's a God is real. But guess what they do? When Moses ain't come back down in time, they begin, they begin to worship another God. Watch this. Read and brought him unto Aaron, and he received them at their hand, and fastened it with a graven tool, after he had made it a molten calf. And they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. You see that? We hard headed and stiff neck. Now we just seen God part the Red Sea, but now we're going to give credit to the pagan gods that was in Egypt that they delivered us when they know that the Most High God delivered us. Read. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast unto the Lord. So that's what's going on now. This is a feast. Meaning showing you, what I'm just showing you is parallel back then, is parallel to today. The same thing back then is the same thing today. Now we're doing a God called Bacchus. Read. 
and they rose up early on the morrow. Did not our people rise up early to be here today? Our people out here early. Same thing back then, same thing to them. Read. Right. And offered burnt offerings Come on. and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and to drink. Oh, wait a minute. Ain't they doing that now? People eating and drinking, getting drunk already. Barbecuing already. Read. And rose up to play. Rose up to play going into sexual sins. You think that ain't finna be no sexual sins going on today? Somebody finna commit adult. Somebody, somebody trying to ditch their wife right now. Somebody trying to make a play just to go be with their side piece right now. Somebody, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Some sister lying to some dude right about now. Some brother lying to some woman right about now so he can go be with his side piece. Am I right or am I wrong? Three, verse seven. And the Lord said to Moses, go get thee down. For thy people, which thou brought us out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. What we done? Have corrupted themselves. And I know our people don't know because we don't we don't read, we don't pay attention, we don't look up that, we don't research. But this is a false God we worship in today. Because if you you ask if you go down the line and ask these people what is Mardi Gras, they can't tell you. Right. They worship an unknown God. Oh, they even prove that they worship an unknown God. The same thing back then. The, the Bible is a record of us showing you how we was acting back then, showing you how we're going to act today. Now, watch this. Acts um, 17 and 23. Showing you that. You, stay, stay, you listen, bro. You listen, bro. You pay attention. Stay focused, bro. You, you're in the best place right here. Right. Listen to the word of God. Don't right. let nobody fool you. Acts, watch this. Wait. Acts chapter 17 and verse 23. For as I pass by and beheld your devotions, they got a devotion. They devoted to this, is it not? This is a devotion to Mardi Gras. Folks gonna get up early, that great floats. It's a devotion to this. People are ignorant and worse of an unknown God of Bacchus today. They don't even know it. You've been growing up 13, 12 years old to you grown and you still don't even know what Mardi Gras means. Because you worshiping an unknown God that the white folks introduced us into slavery. When we was enslaved, they introduced these things to us. We just pick it up and run with their traditions. They always put traps in front of us and we pick it up and run with it. Right. Like 4th of July, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, they killed the Native American Indians. Right. And one thing about Mobile, Mobile, was, they had a whole tribe here in Mobile. Right. Most of these people thinking they are African American, but they really Native Americans. Right. They really come from the tribe of Gad, which are Israelites as well. Right. The, they don't tell you that, but guess what? The people, let me show you. The Native American Indians, the Reubenites Indians, were, are all the nation of Israel. Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Haitians, Cubans, we are all the nation of Israel. We just different tribes. Right. They separated us. We speak different languages, so we think we different from each other. But we the same people. The slave ships that dropped at a different location. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So when them slave, say for instance, like the reason why Haitians speak French or Creole is because the white Frenchmen conquered them, right? right, right. The reason why South America speak uh, Portuguese or Spanish is because uh, um, the Spaniards conquered them down there. You understand what I'm saying? The reason why we speak English is because the white Englishmen conquered us. So we speak different languages, but we think we different people, but we one people, we one nation, which make up God's chosen people, which is the nation of Israel. Why do you think we do everything better than everybody? Anything we put our hand to, look at, like all the victims, stop like you see. We created this stuff when we was in slavery. Right. We created a lot of stuff when we was in slavery. No resources, no nothing, just a brain. Let me prove that real quick. Deuteronomy 76. Even though we getting on our people, but we know our people are great. You understand what I'm saying? But we got to tell them that they're in error. But watch it. Let's see what God said about the so-called black and Spanish and Native Americans. Watch it read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people. Read it again. For thou art and holy people. Our people are supposed to be holy men. We're supposed to be set apart to God. We're supposed to be doing what the world forces upon us. We holy. He made us out to be holy. That's why anything we do, we better than anybody. If you want to say the best singer, we do that the best. The best dance, we do that the best. The best um, actors, we do that the best. The best athlete, that's us. Anything we touch, we dominate. Ask the sisters that play tennis. We get in tennis, we take over. Tiger Woods get it going, we take over. Anything we do, we take over. But not only physically, but intellect. Right. Watch this read. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Did y'all hear that? We're supposed to be above all people that's upon the face of the earth. But we're supposed to live holy. Now let's see what holy is. Romans 7, real quick. Get on this up. We're supposed to be holy. My back. 
we supposed to be holy, but we ain't acting holy. Now watch it, let's see what holy is. Because he said he made us to be a holy people, a special people. Now watch this, read. The book of Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. What is holy? The law is holy. So he gave us the laws to be holy. Let's prove that. Hold that like Deuteronomy 4 and 44. The laws mean what? That's not kill. That's not steal. That's not commit adultery. But guess what? When we break those things, we get punished more than anybody. Right, right. You think the Chinese don't fall, don't commit adultery? You think all uh, the Arabs don't commit adultery? You think they don't hate each other, kill each other? But guess what? When we go against God and we break His law, we get punished severely. Watch this read. The book of Deuteronomy. But guess what? What Chinese man you know dealing with a baby mama drama, baby daddy drama? Bring it up. What Arab you know dealing with that baby mama, baby daddy drama in high magnitude like us? What nation of people deal with that more than us? Nobody. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 44. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. You see that? That's the law that was set before us. Now go back to Exodus 32 showing you that we doing the same thing back then when we made golden calves and worship. We doing the same thing today as worshiping these false gods. Read. Exodus chapter 30. That's the first commandment. Matter of fact, get that in Exodus 20. Let's show you we break today we're breaking the first commandment of God. But we'll claim that we love God. Let's see what the first commandment of God is. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2, 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. But today, we got another God before the Most High God. Right. And most of these folks out here raise their hand and say they're Christians because their pastor never taught them God's commandments nor laws. Right. They don't even know to, today is God's Sabbath day. So you got that why I said, how long are you going to be between two opinions? How long are you going to be claiming that you love God, but you're serving the devil? You might well go full-fledged serve the devil. Sir, Satan, if that's the case, don't be one foot in, one foot out of it. The Sabbath, okay, let me show you what the Sabbath day is. Watch this. Read, that, read jump down to verse 8. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. So the Sabbath day is a holy day, right? He says six days you can work, right? You're supposed to work from Sunday to Friday night because Friday night sundown begins the Sabbath day. Begin his holy day. We're supposed to work throughout the week. Let's keep reading. Let's show what else we're supposed to do on the Sabbath day. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath. The seventh day, meaning one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh day, which is the Sabbath day, we're supposed to do what? Of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. So we're not supposed to be working on a Saturday. Read. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter. Thy manservant. So if you got a business, if you got people working for you, you need to shut it down. Read. Nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. But guess what America do? America makes you work on a Sabbath day. Amer and let's see what else we're supposed to do. Let's show you. Give me that in our uh, exit. We're going to show you how you're supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy. Because the church ain't teaching you this. The church is teaching you God laws done away with. But how God got laws going to be done away with? When the first commandment is don't have no other God before me. Don't kill, don't steal. So how that's done away, that ain't done away with. When you say that done away with, I young people gonna live like it's done away with. Right. Like you can't judge me. I'ma go, I'ma shoot some people up, I'ma sleep with whoever I want to sleep with. That's why AIDS high in our community, gun real sickness high in our community, right. uh, abortion clinics, rape high in our community. Right. Because what? The process them teach you that God allows it done away with. But the Bible really tells us, look, no, it's not done away with. You blacks and Spanish Native Americans, you are my chosen people, and you must keep my commandments. Right. Or, I, or else I, I punish you as a whole, as a nation. Right. That's why you go in any city in America, the ghetto, we feel it. The murder rate, we feel it. Right. The gangbanger, we feel it against each other. You understand what I'm saying? Because we break God's law. But watch this read. Let's show y'all to keep the Sabbath day read. The book of Exodus, chapter 16, verse 23. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So he, Moses was telling them tomorrow is going to be the rest of the Holy Sabbath, right? Meaning last night before the sun went down. Because like I said, Friday, when the sun go down, that's when the day begins. But it's just a completely different time, right? The day is over with. Now it begins another. But the white man or America tell you that 12 o'clock at night begin a new day. 
Ain't nothing changed at 1201. Right. From 12, from 12 to 1201. What changed? No. Not a thing. It's still, it's just dog. Wow. But God said, no, the day changed when it's when the sun go down, that's it. That day over with and they begin another. So now the Sabbath days begin Friday night sundown. You don't supposed to work. Now let's see what else you're supposed to do, read. And he said to them, This is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today. So Moses said, look, bake what you gonna bake Friday. Come on. And seed that you will see. Boil what you gonna boil. And that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So now whatever else you cook, let that be leftover. We do that anyway, don't it? Leftovers. Get you some pieces. Just don't warm, but you're not supposed to warm it up in the microwave right. because that'll be cooking. Right. Wow. You're not supposed to cook anything. Now you can get you a good fresh salad. You can get you some turkey, whatever you're going to eat. You feel what I'm saying? Or uh, uh, what a fruit, vest, vegetables. Whatever you're going to do, or eat the leftovers Sandwich. you just cook. Sandwich. You feel me? But you're not supposed to cook. Watch this week. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring where or any vittles, what's that where or any visual? That means stuff that you can buy or sell. Like clothes, somebody might bring clothes, somebody might bring a food truck. That's vittles, right? Read. On the Sabbath day to sell that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So we don't buy or sell on the Sabbath day. Get your gas Friday, you know, buy what you're going to buy then. But Saturday, in order to keep the day holy, like God said, we're not supposed to buy no sale on the Sabbath day. So this is how you keep it holy, because holy means separate, right? So he's telling you, this day is set apart. So in order to keep it set apart, I don't want you to work it on that day. I don't want you cooking on that day. I don't want you buying and selling on that day. And I, But I want you to come together in reverence of me. Read. Right? But the world don't do that on Saturday. What day you think the most of our people get killed on? Oh. Friday night and Saturday. Right. That's the majority of our people get gunned down. Because we breaking God's Sabbath day. Now we be keeping it Sabbath day, we'll be we we'll be you know on his gracious. But when we breaking God's laws, we out there for a game now. We ain't got no heads, no protection. Anything line to go down. You feel me? Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 3. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy. People don't know that. I bet you all these people going to church tomorrow, but they don't even know today, right now, is the Sabbath day. And they don't even know today they worshiping another God. That's because religion have messed us up, bro. The Bible ain't a religious book. The Bible is for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Christ is a black man, King David, King Solomon. All these, that's our real history. But you think they're going to teach us that? If I had a plantation and, I, and, and you was on my plantation working for me, you think I'm going to tell you God look like you, Christ look like you, King David look like you? Right. Hell no, I ain't going to tell you that. Right. I'm going to tell you everything wide is wide. Right. Obey your slave master. That's what I'm going to tell you. And don't let me catch you reading or I'll cut your hand off. That what happened to us. Real talk, real acts. They burned us alive. Let me show you these pictures. These real photographs, we got burned alive. It takes some type of evil spirit in you to burn a man alive and you just standing there taking pictures, smiling, right. hanging up from trees and you just, you and your whole family live posing. Right. Most folk can't even uh, uh, kill a frog and burn it. Right. But you got a whole us being lit, burnt, all these type of things, right. something ain't right with your spirit. Right. But my, my point, the reason why I bring that out is because that's who we learn religion from. Right. That's who we learn to go to church on Sunday from. Right. That ain't in the Bible where you keep that as a Sabbath day. Now, let's get the New Testament because somebody might say, oh, you read nothing. Oh, well, we're finna get the New Testament then. Because somebody might say, oh, that's back in the that time. No, give me Acts 13 and start at 15. And guess what? When have you seen young men out here? We just like y'all, bro. We ain't no different. We our people. We, we young. We all, we all one people. But when last time you seen young black men out here teaching the Bible? You feel me? Bro, we could be over there doing the same thing y'all doing. You feel me? But look, the Lord woke us up to who we really are. We God so we the Israelites. Right. Hey, watch it. How many of y'all men married with kids? Raise your hand. How many of y'all married, Joel, with, with kids? Raise your hand. Well, we married our women over here and take our kids. Three, four kids. How many kids you got? Three. How many kids you got? Three. How many kids you got? Three, four. I got three and one on the way. How many kids you got? Five. five. I got five. How many you got? Five. These men married. That's what we're telling you. We ain't just out here being no hypocrites. What we teach, we, we act upon. You feel right. what I'm saying? 
we believe this wholeheartedly because we know we God told the people. Right. Ain't, ain't nobody can take that away from us. Matter of fact, let's prove that real quick. Let me do the run. Read that, read that act, the Sabbath day. Then we're going to prove our people that child of God told the people. Get, read that. Acts chapter 13 and verse 44. And the next Sabbath day, because you ain't going to find men in the world married like that. But they're going to have about two, three side pieces. You feel me? They go, we know we can't do that. God might kill me if I do that. Cause why? I'm out here trying to teach y'all not to do that. And you think I tiptoe and step out there? You think the Lord will have mercy on me when I know what I know in the Bible? I ain't even rolling no dice on that. that I, you can keep that. You can have that. Bring. And the next seventh day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. You see what our people doing in the Bible? Keeping the Sabbath day, but today that ain't going down. Give me another. Give me Acts 13 with the uh, Acts 13. Excuse me, uh, Acts 16 13. Or one, whatever one you want to prove. Acts 16 13. Is it 16 13 or 3? Read. Acts chapter 16 and verse 13. And on the Sabbath, we went out of the city by a riverside where prayer was one to be made. And we sat down and spake unto the woman which resorted thither. So that's on the Sabbath day, you see what I'm saying? You asked about the Sabbath day, I brought it out to you about the Sabbath day, right? So now we're supposed to work, um, cook, buy, or sell on the Sabbath day. Now, like I said, these folks been taught wrong, like we was taught wrong, you know? We, we ain't knocking it against them, but the Bible do say we're supposed to read it. Don't let nobody just tell you anything and you fall for it. You understand what I'm saying? Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.